Hello everyone, so this is Yeshvia Bluga. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, okay? Make sure that you like this video, share this video, and subscribe. Okay, so without any further ado, guys, today I'm going to show you some tweaks in OpenBullet about the function, some function I'm going to explain to you in 2025 how we're going to uh, do some functions, if and else conditions as well. First thing first, uh, let me go to my website right here. I've created a okay, as you can see, welcome to Yeshvia's blogger login. So here's a login page. So now, guys, um, mm -mm -mm. so usually when doing a config, something like this, uh, let's say Yeshvia blog and then test password. All right, so basically you'll get something like this when doing a config. Let's say you wanna base encoding, like the password, like the user. Let's say the user is admin. So you will encode this, so it becomes like that. And then if we ask for the password, I'm gonna call this as maybe password one, two, three, like this. Okay, instead of using google.com, okay, this is a test website, okay, all right, which accepts both get and post, which I've set up on a render. Okay, then in here, what you wanna do is like, the username equal to like basically user this variable and then password equal to like this variable pass like that okay so that's how we usually encode and it will turn the user into this variable and that Okay, now I'm going to show you um, translate. Let's say we are using translate function. Uh, for instance, let, let's take an, an example. Like, um, mm, mm, mm. so I'm going to use constant um, is trial false. Then what you want to do, you want to put in the input string, you want to put the trial right here. Here, um, you want to insert that, like, let's say, false, not valid, true, valid. So, then you want to take is capture. So what will happen? This will change into because it detected is trial. It, it detected the word false right here. Then this, the false, it becomes not valid. Okay. So that's how we do a function of translate function. Next, I'm going to show you some hash. Yes, you can hash using SHA-256-384-5300. Uh, okay, let's see the variable name is going to be something like this. The password. So let me add admin. Uh, password123. And then the hash is going to be like this. The password1. So this is a hash. Okay, it's a computed hash then instead of uh, here like we've gave this variable name and in here you're gonna put like this pass one all right so far so good okay now let's say you have something like um you have something like that 
I'm gonna put any any name here any name so this is a uh, let's say epoch value then what you wanna do you wanna unix time to date you wanna put the the variable name here you wanna paste it in the input string and here you wanna write unix time okay so usually we remove this so when we click start it converts this into from this value into today's date which is 18 july 2025 say so you're you're using a email address the email address contains this right here you you see it has something like this percentage 40 gmail.com okay so it is ul encoded so basically you'll have to pass your password like this like user ul encoded so basically we do us and right here we do ps as for the password okay same okay <coughs> so what this does it will convert the following let's say admin at dot mm, com next uh let me show you about this now i'm gonna show you uh this config like basically when you do configs so you want to copy from the host put that right here then you want to go to this website here you wanna instead of doing this you you're gonna do that right here you're gonna write user like this okay all right you can see this is application for slash blah 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 and then um mm, 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 you can see invalid credentials so we're gonna find it right here as you can see error invalid credentials so then all you want to do is to create a key check put this in the invalid credentials so when you test you should be getting like fail because it contains this invalid credentials okay all right, so I'm gonna use admin. This is the, uh, all right. So as you can see, it logged in. As you can see, we can see it shows welcome admin. So we can use this like welcome admin like this thing it doesn't has this welcome admin okay and we we can see it has dashboard as here so in the current here we don't have dashboard as well all right so i'm gonna go to settings environment.db open this via notepad and you can see the thing is in here so that's why it's failing so what we need to do is to paste this credentials right here and then save and then we're gonna restart open bullet all right now let me go add this admin this uses password one two three okay maiden password um then you're gonna go to data you're gonna set this to maiden password and then default right there and as you can see voila guys after changing here what what do you see both status success why because it, it contains the following word in the doc type html welcome admin boom uh some people like to target like config by whatever their name and tick is capture so it will capture like that okay And let's say you'd like to save to file. So then what you wanna do is you wanna append lines. Here you wanna normally you gotta usually do this. Uh it's gonna be like this. So user and then pause. Okay. So what this does and then you're gonna see a hits folder as you can see, it's gonna save like that.
so once you use an utility block a hits will be created right here and now let's say you're getting a lot of hits how how you gonna use line breaking so you can do this like hits uh some people use like i do it i keep saying some people but i i do it like that i'm gonna show you how and then you if you want in the same line like a uh, login if you want it in the same line then you want to do like that login or credentials and then you will uh, uh, user password and then just add this so what this will do uh, let me do this properly like the end and now watch this so what happens it create like that okay so right now you're not seeing that properly let me i'll just cut this put it right here click save the config and don't forget to delete this thing so that we did this hits so when it shows success a hits text will be created and now it's gonna capture like this okay boom so email and password and then credentials is this and this separated on the same line okay so yeah that's another version that you you can do all right um mm -mm, key check uh now passing let's say this uh this thing has you'd like to pass this value right here so when i search for this as you can see it has found like welcome admin okay so passing so you can do left string right here add this remove that here you're gonna add like whatever name mm -mm -mm like that uh let's say welcome and let's say as you can see you receive cookies this thing has a cookies it has a session cookies so how to post this cookies as well so you want to write cookies like that session session and now let's say um that's how i usually do it like this so it's gonna be author okay author name and let's say now now the thing will be interesting okay so hits okay hits like this <coughs> line breaking you can use this as well but yeah just use this all right so email so this is gonna be user line breaking the password p a w s make sure it's capitalized and then we got credentials credential it's both on the same line like this line breaking then we have this captures like welcome okay like the user prompt whatever whatever name that you've give in the variable so you want to add it right here and then if you would like to add like cookies uh session cookies you can name it whatever as you want session cookies just grab well here it is just add it right here add line breaking and you want to title it like this the end again here before the the end as well you can add like author you can do like this whatever like config by your name okay your name And now just click start button. Boom. As you can see, it captures a welcome. It even get us the session cookies as well. 
So now if you go back, you're going to see it captures like this. <laughs> 